Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to another episode of Run 8! Yes, chat! We are back and we will continue our journey. Well, we will continue. We, we will basically start our journey all the way to Mojave Yard. Uh, we need to take this lovely train all the way down there, which I believe it's like 80 miles long trip, uh, something like that. So it, it's going to take a while. It's, it's going to take a few hours. Right. Anyway, chat. Oh, let's let's have a look at this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some train passing by. That's lovely. Oh, that's a long one, isn't it? Yeah, this is a long one. Perfect. Perfect. Right, uh, let's have a look who do we have here. Hi Nam, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Roblox, uh, hello. <laughs> welcome guys, welcome, welcome. I hope you will have a nice and lovely time today. And we'll see who else is going to join us. Anyway. We need to get this train going, shall we? It's gonna take a while. I, I still need to perform a few operations before we can set off. So perhaps, perhaps it would be good idea to get started, shall we? Yeah, yeah, let's get started. All right. So, here we are, with our lovely train, however everything is turned off, yeah, yeah, so we need to turn this on, and we got a few ways to do so, uh, I can go through starting procedure of all four locomotives, uh, so I get two at the front and two at the back, or I can go with a shorter version of, of that procedure and, and just press a few buttons and everything should be set and ready to go. Uh, so, which way do we want to go, chat? Uh, do you want to see me struggle with, with all these four locomotives or, or do you want me to just shorten up this procedure and just get going? What do you think, chat? Okay, right. It, it's gonna take a while before you can hear that, so perhaps let's let's get started. Uh, so oh no, we got four of them. We got four of them. I know. My goodness me. Ah, uh, in the latest patch, they they promised they're gonna fix that that weird jumps that that comes when you try to turn the camera but they actually made it worse <laughs> i don't know why that that was a genius move from them but yeah they, they actually made it worse uh, oh well it happens it happens chat it happens uh right anyway uh we need to turn this to start okay and that's gonna be short hood lead perfect that's how we are going to set up this bad boy. And now I believe we can press this button. Okay, I, I can hear something is happening. Yeah, that was the compressor. I think we are on chat. We are on. Okay. So this is set up to engine run. For now, we don't really need to do anything on the screens uh, because I, I don't really have anything set up yet. So that's the first locomotive. Let me now jump to the other one. So let's start this one. And again, I need to set it as a lead unit in order to, to jump in. Okay, now we are in this one. And again, same procedure. Very simple. 
let's set it to start and that is going to be long hood trial okay now this one is starting Is it started? I, I think it is. I can't really hear it because of the music. Uh, but again, if you guys probably can hear it better than me, <laughs> which is hilarious. But it is what it is. So let me just jump out and let's... Oh, uh, perhaps I, I should have first checked. Okay, we got smoke coming out of the funnel, so I assume this thing is currently working, which is perfect. Okay. Okay. So, uh, last thing I need to do, which is properly set this one up. Okay. So that is set up. Uh, we don't need to worry about handbrake, because uh, that will be released later. Okay, time to go to the other end of the train. That's gonna be a long run. There we go. I have to admit that train driver in this game is a marathon runner. Just look how fast he's going. There we go, that's the end of the train. Okay. So, now this one. Uh, we need to set it as a lead unit in order for me to, to be able to jump in. So now we're in. And this one is... Uh, short hood trail there we go uh, we need to set it up to start and start the engine okay and the engine is starting I can already hear it Now that everything is started, let's set it to run. Okay, perfect. We can jump off. And the last one. Chat, the last one. So, let me just jump in. Oh no, not this one. There we go. Perfect. I always keep pressing the wrong button. Why is this on the run? This needs to be start. And that is long hood lead. Engine start. Perfect. Lujirota, Railjet, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. My apologies for not following the chat. Uh, like, when I'm focused on, on something in the game, I, I keep forgetting to, to read the chat. Okay, okay. This thing is now basically turned on. So I can jump off. Is it? No. Oh, I forgot about this. Ah, oh, chat, why haven't you reminded me? Uh, I need to set this thing to run. There we go. Now I can jump off. Now, one thing that we need to do is to put EOT device. Obviously, we won't see it, uh, but we got uh, end of the train device that will measure the pressure. 
uh, at the end of the train. And we will need that because because when we are at the front obviously we can't see if there is any air in the brake pipe so we need to be able to control it and that's why end of the train device comes in handy on top of that it it should act as a beacon but obviously that that is another thing right anyway uh, we now need to uh, that is multiple unit, perfect. And that is gonna be set to... Oh, I can't set it up. Uh, I first need to go to the front locomotive and set it up as a front. Jessica team, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. How are you doing? Right, so there's gonna be a lot of running before we can get this train going, but I hope that soon we will be able to, to get this bad boy up and running in a correct way. We now have all the locomotives turned on and hopefully I set them, well, I preset them uh, correctly. So now I need this one. I need to set it as a lead unit. Perfect. Okay. Okay, that is multiple unit. Headlight setup is single middle. And this one, oop, headlight setup, short coat lead, perfect. Okay. Now we are going all the way to the back again. My goodness me. Oh, you tried to move a train and you stalled at 1.5. Uh, yeah, that's that's a typical thing for Train Sim World 2. Like, if you don't know how to set up these locomotives, uh, there is no chance uh, that that you're gonna go anywhere with with the trains that that you will be pulling. Uh, like, in in typical scenario, you got like 4,000 tons uh, attached to to the back of your train. So obviously. You really need to set it up correctly. Uh, right, that is multiple units. Perfect. And this one is short foot trail. Um, and that is not correct. That should be short foot lead. And that should be single middle. Perfect. And that is DPU lead, uh, which is exactly how I wanted it to. Okay. Now, automatic brakes are already set up, okay. Uh, MU valves, let me just check if this is connected. Yes, MU connection is connected. There's not gonna be multiple unit connector here, which is fine. Okay, okay, that's, that's pretty good. That train was 7,545 tons. Yeah, so that's that's really heavy. Uh, that's that's kind of heavy. Yeah. Uh, let's let's see. I I'm not sure about about my current train how heavy that is. Uh, but we will have to go through it at some point. In fact, I I will also need to release handbrakes on each car. So yeah. So we are still in preparation phase, chat. Uh, that's that's gonna take a while before we can get this thing moving. Uh, right, this is correct. Uh, let me just check MU valves. Uh, yeah, these are connected. Perfect. And there is no MU valve here. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So now we need to release the handbrakes. That's going to take a while.
There we go. So the handbrakes are being released on each of the cars. Obviously, uh, the game doesn't really simulate uh, the valves correctly or, or like uh, any sort of control for that. So uh, the only way to release it is, is to actually open the parameters of, of the car rather than to come to uh, to this uh, whatever that is called, uh, to this hand wheel and, and basically turn it in the right direction to, to release the brakes. Uh, Andrew Noble, uh, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. So to answer your question, uh, long hood and short hood. So what that will mean is which side of the locomotive uh, we are going to be moving forward, yeah? So basically, in that case, uh, let me just get to the locomotive first. So in that case, why are we uh, setting this up as a short hood lead or as a long, uh, long hood lead? So short hood lead will mean that this locomotive has a forward setting heading towards the short hood and as you can see the cabin has a is placed so that it's not in the middle of the train it's on one of the sides so this side will be short hood because the cabin is closer to the end of the train and you got very short hood at the front while this side of the train will be considered long hood because Again, the cabin is placed all the way here and the front of, of the locomotive would be here. So that's why yeah, this is actually wrong because that should be long hood trail. Uh, or no, uh, long hood lead. There we go. Because this locomotive is pushing. Uh, this is going to be single or middle unit because again, the lights won't be turning on which is perfect and on the other end same happens so whichever side of the train is planned to be moved forward or to be a front of the locomotive it has to be set either to long or or short hood so it only applies to to the lights in in that case because reversal will be set automatically i believe uh, but that's how it works. So the long hood is the side of the train where the engine is and, and all that stuff. And the short hood is the side of the engine where the cabin is located. So whichever side you want to be the front of the locomotive, you have to set uh, the lights to a correct position. And obviously units that are in the middle of the consist, like this one, could be set as a single or middle unit. So this way when I control the lights from the lead unit right now, so when I jump in and let's say I will turn on the front lights uh, which have the gauges here and the back lights they will turn on correctly. So now when I jump off, these are front lights because this unit is set to short hood lead and, the, and there is full lights and we will have different lights set up at the back uh, because I turned them on already. So yeah, uh, basically that's how short and long hood will work. So let me just verify if the rear lights are also turned on, because you have to do that. My goodness me, chat, there's going to be a lot of running this time. I know, I know. It takes a while before you can actually go with the train, isn't it? And there we go, this doesn't work, and I'm now angry. 
So why this doesn't work? DPU, right? DPU, okay. Okay, okay. That 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 should actually work. Why you no work? My goodness me. So wait. Are these lights no? These are off. These are off. Hmm. That's weird. They should work, chat. These lights should work. Okay, something is wrong. I need to fix it. Hmm. So if I will set it like that, is that going to change things? No, it didn't. So yeah, th this should be correct. Hmm. Weird. Let's have a look at that right now. Let's check it, let's check it. Why is this not working? Okay, the rear lights are definitely on. Huh. This is weird chat, uh, that should work. And it doesn't. And I'm really, really angry right now. Right, let's check which radio we need. Uh, channel 14. Okay, so let's set channel 14. Perfect. But for some reason, this doesn't work. Let's put it on neutral. So, this locomotive is a short hood lead. Because short hood is at the front. And this is a lead unit. This is long hood trail. Because long hood is facing forward to the direction of the travel. And it's a trailing unit. Then, we have slightly different situation at the back of the train, where I'm currently heading to. Because the lead unit is the last unit of the train, that's how I set it up. Although I, I might actually need to change that. Let me just reach this place my goodness me it takes ages to, to reach this place so in that case as this is the back of the train we got this unit which is set as a trailing unit and this is gonna be single or middle unit when it comes to headlight setup mostly because again this unit doesn't need its headlights on. No, oh, okay. These are set incorrectly. So this is short hood lead. There we go. These lights are now. Okay. Okay. Why, why is this turned on like that? I might actually need to switch it. Yeah, I, I will have to switch it. Right, so this one was set up as a long hood lead, which is at the back of the train. But unfortunately, it doesn't respond correctly to the light setup. Uh, 
Okay, now it responded correctly. Weird. So let me turn on the front lights. Let's see what's gonna happen. Yeah, it shouldn't be responding to the front lights. But it is for some reason. So... If I will set it to long hood lead... Now the front lights are turning on on this side. Which, uh, not exactly I wanted that, to be honest. Hmm. Perhaps if I would set it to long hood trail. Okay. And then... Turn on these lights. It should technically... Let me see that. Hmm. That's weird, that's weird. I, I'm fairly sure I did that correctly. Nope. Okay. So, short hood trail. should switch the lights here okay okay that that works correctly now perfect I see I see I see I see if you lead in reverse perfect uh, MU helper okay okay now it's gonna work now it's gonna work so short short hook trail will be this one so we display rear light okay okay single or middle okay it works chat it works so yeah uh, the rear locomotive was supposed to be a short hood trail uh, because it's heading outside and we need rear lights to be on a short hood okay okay That's weird, that, that, that doesn't really sound logical, according to what I've been told, uh, but anyway, anyway, it works now, we got the lights, so now, there are a few more things that we need to test, we need to perform a brake test, before we can set off, so as you can see, I just turned on the top graph, which is basically showing the position of locomotives with that yellow dot being a lead locomotive then we got two bars representing our train and the top bar I can't remember what was the top bar I think represented the couplers uh, and the strain on the couplers right now there is absolutely no strain on that uh, because the train is stopped there is no pulling force there is no pushing force uh, so basically that's going to be white. Uh, when we start moving the train, uh, this will start turning red and, and purple to represent uh, the strain on each and individual coupler. Uh, the bottom bar is representing the brake pipe. So right now the brakes are applied so we can see that it's full yellow uh, at the front and, and pretty much white at the rear and we need to investigate why is it white at the rear of the train okay 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 uh, because it should be more or less uniform hmm. right let me just check it Why is this not working correctly? Right, chat, we are still learning, so obviously mistakes will happen. I'm not perfect in that, as you can see. And setting up these locomotives seems to be quite complicated task. So, uh, this is set, this is set correctly. 
Uh, how does that work? Okay, this is connected and opened. Handbrake is set. Uh, handbrake, we can actually release the handbrake on this locomotive. Okay. Uh, we can release the handbrake here. We don't need that. Okay, so this is set up. Yeah, there is something in brake cylinder. Brake pipe is not 90. Wait, why is the brake cylinder showing only one? Hmm. That is weird, chat. That is weird. My brakes seems to be not applying properly. Is it? Yeah, brake cylinder two. Ooh. Okay. 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 And okay. Let's see. Air brakes, air brakes. Do we have DB cutouts? Oh, okay. That's dynamic brakes, and I don't want them to be cut out. Handbrake is released. Okay. That's weird. Train weight. Uh, that is set up. Heat valve. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. That is very interesting. Oh yeah, there are a few things that I forgot to set on each locomotive. Oh my goodness me. Now I remember. I forgot to set those. So, uh, blah blah blah. Engine run. Generator generator field. Okay. Hmm. That is weird, chat. Something doesn't work. I need to figure it out. But before that will happen, I will take a short break. Alright chat, I'm back, uh, my apologies for that, sh that short break, uh, which was kind of unexpected, but well, sometimes, sometimes things are not working correctly. Uh, right, I'm trying to figure out why the brakes are not working in a correct way. Hmm. Yeah, let me think. Cabin light, control, okay, okay, okay.
maybe if I will turn off generator fields, I, I think I, I will have to turn that off. Or maybe I need to leave it. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, automatic brake. In fact, I should technically set it to full. Although that shouldn't matter. Okay. So this should be set correctly. Uh, let me just turn on the flying camera, which should be faster. There we go. So let's set this back as an as a lead. Perfect. Okay, this one was stopped for some reason. So that is shortcut trail. Okay, okay, okay. Looks alright to me, chat. Looks alright now. And Oddball, yes, uh, that is run 8. Uh, so it's not train simulator that you can get on Steam. This is completely different game. Uh, if you want to try yourself with Run8, uh, the links are in description of the video and that's where you can find the game and buy it for yourself and, and give it a shot. But yeah, this is a little bit more hardcore simulation, so it takes a while to, to get used to it, but it's really, really good. Okay, uh, handbrakes, yeah, let's leave it for, for a second. Uh, we can release that handbrake. I think we should be ready, chat. Although I first need to check the brakes. So let me just land on the ground. And let's see if the brakes are working. So right now. I am releasing the automatic brakes. And very soon they should start releasing across entire train. And we will see that yellow bar changing colors. Hopefully. Yeah, brake cylinders are off. Okay. Brake pipe is charged. There we go. Let's just jump into the locomotive. Let's have a look at this. Surely turn on cabin light. Hmm, chat. Something doesn't work. Perhaps if we set reverser, no. Automatic brake is on. Okay, so now. Let me engage the brakes all the way to 65. Okay, the brakes seems to be work now. Yeah, th they seem to be working now. Okay. So brake pipe should now be equalized at 65. Perfect. Rear of the train is reporting 65. Okay, and now if I will release brake cylinder in the locomotives, yeah. Okay, so the locomotives are not not braking now, as you can see, uh, because this is represented by by these dots so the brake cylinders in all the locomotives are now released however the train is currently the only unit that is braking all the wagons and that seems to be correct uh, does the trailing engine have the marker lights no uh, that's why we use uh, rear white lights in uh, in like medium setting uh, technically the marker light should come from end of the train device 
uh, but that is not visible on the train if if the last unit is a locomotive uh, if i would put eot device on any of the wagons it would be visible uh, but there is one and technically that's that's the marker because eot device also has a red light and it's connected to the brakes and it's feeding me with information about brake cylinder or brake pipe at at the rear uh, so right now yeah that is represented by this bit on on the screen but it seems like the brakes are working uh, let me just release automatic brake right now and let's see if this bar is gonna change colors Okay, looks like it is changing colors, so very soon that should be released across the entire train. Yeah, the brakes are releasing. Perfect, chat. The brakes are working. Technically, we should perform EOT dump test. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let me just wait for entire train to release the brakes. Okay, perfect. We still got handbrake in the locomotive. So we can now head to the end of the train. Right, so now that we know that all the brakes will be working and that entire train will have uh, proper braking, we need to figure out if applying emergency brake, let's say at the rear of the train, will properly apply it. But to do so, Why do I apply handbrake? Because I don't want this train to move. At least not for now. Right, so for that one I will need to close this angle cock just to make sure that this locomotive is now isolated. And technically I should be able to apply emergency brake. Should I? Uh, I might not be able to because this is a locomotive. So let me just open this one and we will test it with the last wagon. So I'm gonna close this angle cock. And now we can bleed this wagon to simulate that it got disconnected from the rest of the train. And as you can see, the end of that bar technically should be turning yellow. But for some reason it isn't. Hmm. Is it because there are locomotives? This might be a problem, chat. This might be a problem. So let me just double check it. Yeah, brake brake cylinder is Ooh, something is wrong, chat. Okay, I believe it's because of these locomotives are feeding into the system, which should not happen. So, I will need to close the angle cock. Yeah. 
we definitely don't want this angle cock to be opened. So now, if I will bleed this wagon, Why is this one? Let me just partially open that and let's charge this wagon again. Okay, it is now charging. fully open that okay hopefully I didn't dump the train perfect Okay, auxiliary reservoir and emergency reservoirs are charging right now. These ones are charged. So I need to wait for them to, to fully charge in the last unit. Hi Nam, before we are setting off, a uh, handbrake is supposed to be applied anyway. Even if I'm using independent brake. Especially right now when I'm testing the brakes and something might go wrong and I might accidentally release all the brakes across entire train. That's why the handbrake is in place. Nookie Brute, hello, welcome to the stream, I hope you will have a great time today. Okay, I'm still waiting for that reservoir to fully fill. Might take a minute. Hopefully I haven't bled the whole train. No, the flow is at 5, which is perfect. But we still have to wait for that. Okay. Perfect. Let me just jump to the rear of the train. Nuki Brut! Right, what am I doing today? I'm playing run 8 and I'm just trying to test the brakes and, and make sure that everything will work as, as it should. And I'm getting some weird results here. So I'm trying to figure that out. Okay. Ah, oh, this is still charging chat gonna take a while before these reservoirs are are filled right I'm not sure why for some reason the brakes in in this thing are not in cutout position technically they should be automatically cut out Okay, this is still charging. Okay, brake cylinders are now off, off. 
off. Okay. So everything here seems to be okay. Apart from the last wagon. I think I might have broken it, chat. I think I broke it. But that's why you perform some tests. Uh, so technically, that should be the last wagon. Uh, for some reason, when I connected that with... With the rest of the train, or with the last two locomotives, it didn't work as intended. So basically, what should happen when I... Dump the air from air brakes... This wagon... Should be represented on that bar as empty. But that didn't happen. <laughs> Hi Nam, that is a very simple question. Uh, obviously it's gonna be run 8. Like Train Sim World 2 will need at least 5 years to, to reach similar level. Breaking trains is not recommended. <laughs> yeah, technically. Right, let me just check it. Uh, let's first... Okay, Anglecock is closed here. And Anglecock will now be closed in here. So now when I bleed it... It's not represented. I, I actually bled the wagon, but it, it didn't apply. Emergency brakes. Oh my goodness me. This is interesting. This is very interesting. Right, if I will open that. Then the rear locomotives are recharging auxiliary reservoir. Oh, this is not working as intended, chat. So the question is, how do I set... ...a brakes in a cutout position? Because I need to cut out the brakes in the rear... ...locomotives. Okay. 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 Okay, I, I think I, I might have found what is wrong. So now this is not charging, okay. So let me just partially open that to recharge the air brakes. Now they are recharging. Maybe that's how am I supposed to... Help a lead. Okay. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, I see. So if it's distributed power... Then we are... Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. That is interesting, chat. That is interesting.
Oh, don't worry, we have plenty of time. Okay, that that is something new. Hmm. Okay. So basically, these ones are automatically releasing the brakes for me. And that is not something what I want. But what I might do is to jump to each one of them. Oh, there we go. And set full brakes. So let's do that now. Okay. This is now set up. Let me jump to this one. Oh, right. I, I forgot to change the lead locomotive. Uh, set as a lead unit. There we go. And now I need to set the brakes in this one. I completely forgot to do that, chat. There we go. That is also set up. Now I believe if I would do this and get back to the end of the train. Now the brakes from, well, now uh, compressors from both of these locomotives should not contribute to the rest of the train and I believe that is what is the case uh, so we need to wait for for this train to recharge again and then we will check it and this one can be fully opened hopefully I didn't Broke it, okay. DPO connection is re-established. Uh, hi Nam, why am I streaming early? First of all, because I uh, because I got time to stream early. And second thing is that we are up for a very long journey. And as you can see, we haven't even started yet. And it's been an hour. Uh, because I'm testing things before I can set up or set off. Okay, so that is working. I believe I will have to set the brakes in the second locomotive as well. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, that is working. That is recharging, perfect. Uh, but I need to jump into this bad boy and set the full brakes. Yep. There we go. Perfect. My goodness me, that, that junky camera movement is always messing things up. Okay. But now it should work properly. Uh, let me just turn this bar up. There we go. And the train is now... Yeah. The train is now recharging again. It might take a while before everything is charged. But we should be good to go really soon, chat. So basically what I did now, I made sure that there is only one compressor filling up uh, the brake pipe, which is very important because I got full control over the brakes from only one unit along this train. And since I don't have additional engineer to help me, 
That is very important. Because in case that the train will break the coupler somewhere, I need to make sure that the rear locomotives are going to apply full brakes. If that won't happen, the rest of the train will keep on rolling. If I'm on uphill or downhill sec uh, section, the rear of the train will effectively keep on rolling until it hits something. And I don't want that to happen. So right now the train will be secured, hopefully, as long as uh, the brake pipe is not connected. Yes, Jessica, this is the same train I've been assembling last time. Right now I'm running tests to make sure that everything will work correctly and that if need be, the train will react correctly to any incident that may happen. So that's why I've been testing brakes and making... Uh, and I try to make sure that everything will work. But that's, the, that's exactly the same train. And we are about to set off into our journey. Uh, right. Anyway, this one is almost recharged. So I believe we will soon be ready. Yeah, brake pipe is almost fully charged. Okay, beautiful. So now, if I will close this angle cock to make sure that last three units are not connected to, to the rest of the train, I can perform a dump test and simulate a situation where the coupler have broken and the train has split. So basically, let's say this one just split from the rest of the train. And let's see if these, yes, rear locomotives are now applying the brakes. Perfect. See that chat? Now it works. Now it works correctly. So in case we depressurize one part of the train, the rest will apply emergency brakes. Uh, Raliev, uh, it is real world uh, location. So we are currently in southwest of USA. Yeah, I, I believe this is Southwest USA. Okay, so we can now partially open angle cock and make sure that the train is charging. Uh, let me just jump to the front of the locomotive and make sure that... Yeah, the rear has dropped to 70. Okay. And we are now recharging the brake pipe. Are we? No, we are not. What am I doing? Chat, what am I doing? I forgot that I opened the wrong angle cock, did I? Yeah. I was supposed to partially open this one. And fully open this one. Okay. So now we are equalizing the pressures. Okay, I can double check things with the flow meter, I believe. Flow is at 33. So we should now be ready to fully open the angle cock. And we got DPU error. Hmm, that's interesting. 
Ah, yes, there is DPU error because these locomotives technically have been disconnected. Okay, we can now fully open Anglecock and make sure that the rear of the train. Yep, it is recharging. All right, chat. Uh, Nuki Brut, why this is important to partially open it? Uh, because there is a risk that I could uh, dump the train, uh, which would literally release all the brakes. So let's say, uh, let me just simulate that, although it, it will take a while to, to get it running again. Uh, so let's say this part of the train has now split. So let me just fully apply the brakes in rear of the train. Okay, it is now applying, as you can see. So basically, I, I bled these wagons, yeah? And if I would now just open that, I might accidentally dump all the air from the system because the jump will be too high. And this way, my brakes won't work. Yes, when I first start the locomotive and if everything is connected, I can fully open them because then uh, the compressor is working to recharge the whole system anyway. But if I will cause a massive jump in the system, then the compressor will stop uh, recharging it because the flow is too high for the pipes to, to handle it. Uh, because that is also measured. So that is a protection to make sure that I won't overcharge any connection between the wagons and, and cause the brake pipe to split. So if the flow is too high, uh, then the train will stop charging the brake pipe. And that's why you partially open it when you connect uh, large chunks of train. Uh, because if you would cause the, pres uh, the pressure to equalize in the brake pipe uh, by fully opening it, uh, then it would just break it, probably. Right, anyway, chat. We should now be ready. We got DPU error for some reason. Why is that? Why is that, chat? Hmm. That is now interesting. No, I don't need sand. I need... Uh, which one is that? Oh dear. Moving ar around this menu is really annoying. Uh, that was no, that's not XR. Uh, which options were, were there? Uh, no. That's radio channel. Okay. Uh, what was the menu option for that? I think it was Shift Z. No, Control Z. My goodness me, I forgot my controls, chat. <laughs> Crossing bell, no. Wiper speed off. I don't need wipers, okay. Huh, which button did I hurt? Wiper were supposed to be off. Thank you very much. 
Okay, and I'm not recharging the train, which means I dumped it. Yeah, exactly, that's what happened. So let me just apply the full brakes. There we go, full brakes are applied, almost. And now if I release it, there we go, the flow is going up. And we should be able to fix it. There we go. Okay, so that is sorted. Now I need to set up my screens and we should be ready to go. Uh, but what was the button for it? Uh, that was shift B was for that. Uh, was it shift X? No. Hmm. Let me just think which was the button for me. Okay. Increase, increase fence. So that those were these buttons. Uh, how did I move around this menu? Oh dear, I, I need to remember that. Chat, I, I keep forgetting about basic things. So I can change the screens here. And then which buttons did I set up for that? No, that, that was horn. Oh dear. I really need to check those controls. Uh, so, which was that? Oh, okay. T and U. Perfect. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay, we need this screen. Uh, we can check the status of our rear locomotives. What gear they are on. Uh, what's the load? What's the brake pipe? What's the brake cylinder? And, and all that stuff. Uh, it will also help us to control it independently if we put up the fence, which is that green bar. This way I can independently control the units at the back and tell them, hey, you have to do that while I'm doing that. Yeah. So this is basically a simulation of having another engineer at the back with radio controls when I can tell them, hey, you have to engage, uh, let's say, dynamic brake and pull the train apart a little bit. Uh, so basically that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. Have you turned on the banking com? Uh, there is no such thing in here. So banking com is basically imaginary equipment uh, made by Dovetail. In that case, this is sorted out differently. Although it is kind of similar system. Right, anyway, oh, sorry, the camera is doing weird things whenever I press and hold right mouse button, which I need to do uh, in order to control the camera, which is hilarious. Anyway, we are now ready, chat. I can switch to that screen and put on... Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Do I want this one? Nah. I would like this one. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Chat. We are now ready to go. Are you happy? I, I hope you are. Because it took us one and a half hours to get this train ready. So now we can contact with our lovely dispatcher called Otto and we can also release the handbrake so handbrake is now released okay so now we need to contact with Otto and the number for that is 54 
so we need to go into DTMF and type in star 54 and why are you not contacting with him oh there we go so we need mainline authority and hopefully soon we will get confirmation of that although it might be problematic because there is a train coming on on that track and we are just here so I need to wait for that train to pass Yeah, I, I will need for this train to, to go past. So let me just get out. Because now I need to do some switching, as this yard is not equipped with any light signals. I need to get onto the main line. Yes, Hainam, this is just the beginning. But we'll get there, we'll get there, I promise. Yes, this train is very heavy because it's filled with uh, liquids. There's 45 cars that are filled with uh, liquids. Is it? Yeah, uh, that's going to be liquid gas and liquid fuel, I believe. Okay. Or no, that... Uh, not gas, it's gonna be acid and fuel. There we go. Yeah. Ah, I completely forgot what am I even carrying. <laughs> and by the way, uh, someone has subscribed, so thank you very much for that. Uh, I, I I remember the message that, that it popped up on the screen the other time, and, and I completely forgot to read it. Oh my goodness me, I, I feel terrible now. So whoever that was, uh, thank you very much for subscribing and I hope you will have a great time today with us. Right, so I need this switch. And now that's the question. Yes, do not throw that switch, another train is currently lined over it. So I will have to wait for Otto to send UP5478 through this switching section. It shouldn't take long because the train is pretty much approaching right now. So let me just get back to that screen. And we should soon see that train coming over there. Pretty bad timing to get started, isn't it, chat? My goodness me, where is that train? Ah, oh, this is gonna take ages, isn't it? Let's have a look. How far is he? Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, this is gonna take a while, chat. Oh, just look at this. Why did Otto trolled me like that? Oh, you cheeky bastard. Just look at this. Oh, that's where the train is. We are waiting for this bad boy to go past. Well, at least he is moving fast. But it's still gonna take some time. Uh, 
Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Thankfully, I don't have a strict timetable. Too bad I can't just attach the camera to the train, because that would be a lovely sight. There we go. Look at him, he's flying it, isn't it? <laughs> you will hear that horn plenty of times today. There he goes. Not long now, chat. Not long now. He's just one section of tracks away from us. So probably five to ten minutes and we will be able to go. And hopefully Otto won't troll me this time. Yeah, he probably won't. Perfect. Because the nearest train heading this direction is uh, UP5500. So there we go, he is now being routed all the way to here, perfect. And I got mainline authority over this area, so I need to finish before he can go. Perfect. Just perfect chat. Okay, it's it's not too far, it's not too far. Although, yeah, it will take a moment. Because our junctions are here. And that's where we are. Oops, uh, wrong. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, goodness gracious. Ah, I, I hate that jumping camera. There we go, let's go on the ground. That will be much easier. Okay, so we need to wait here to throw those switches and, and get onto the right track. I don't know why Otto trolled me like that. Uh, although, yeah, he decided to, to just send a train over here. So now we need to wait for that train to release this line so that I can throw the switches and get onto the main line. Yeah, it will probably take a while. So, you know what, chat? While we are waiting for this train to come, and we need to wait for it to pass anyway, I might take a short break. So, chat, I will be back with you in five minutes.
All right, chat, I'm back. I got brand new cup of coffee and I can see that the train in question is already passing next to us, which means very soon we will be able to pull our train onto the main line and get going. go let me check if okay Otto didn't troll me just yet <laughs> and hopefully he won't yeah Almost there, chat. Almost there. Finally! Finally! Right. I believe Otto will now... Yes, Otto will now let me join the main line. There we go. And one last switch. Okay, perfect. So now I can jump back to my locomotive. And we can go chat. The reverser is now set to forward. Perfect. And very slowly. We first need to get rid of the slack. I forgot I put up the fence and probably fence is not the best thing to, to have. There we go, we are now moving chat, but because we are still on the siding We can go only at 15 miles an hour. So let's go on notch one. And the train should now be going. Perfect. Yes, almost 6,000 tons, chat. turn off the bell there we go that's gonna take a while But 
we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Yes, it is not as heavy as uh, as the consist that you've been using, but it's still pretty heavy. In fact, we can open the window. There we go. Perfect. Okay, let's check this. Okay. So as you can see, these sections, because I got mainline authority, they are now flagged as a pink color. Oh, there we go. Alerter. So this means Otto won't try to route any trains through that section until I finish working on it. And we will soon be over with, with our job. At least that part of the job. Because then we need to transport all that cargo all the way to Mojave Yard. Almost there. Alerter once more. And now we are joining the main line. Crossover. Ten thousand tons. Wow. That's going to be really heavy. Okay. Now let's measure it up. So this way I will know that entire train is on on the mainline track 
so that I can stop it. And change those switches back. Because uh, obviously I need to leave the main line clear. And sadly Otto can't do that for me. Normally there would be someone on the railway waiting next to those switches to throw them back uh, as my train passes through. Uh, because obviously it's quite long. It's it's like 25,000... Uh, yeah, 2,519 feet. Uh, so that's like what? A mile? Almost a mile. There we go. There we go. We got a nice screenshot. Lovely. Okay, back to the cabin. Let's make sure that we won't exceed 15 miles an hour. So that our train can safely go through the switches. Almost there. 600 feet. Okay, 250 feet. And we're off the switch. So what I'm gonna do, I will jump to the end of the train. The train can go. It's not going fast uh, because I kept it on notch one. And this should give me enough time to throw this switch, uh, these switches back. Come on. Uh. Another train is currently lined over. How can another train be lined over it? There is no other train. Chat. This is weird. There we go. No, there is no other train. Oh dear. Yeah, I, I'm sure there is no other train. There we go. So Otto is having some hiccups today. Okay, and we can quickly throw this switch. And now I can get back to the cabin and I need to do a few more things with Otto. So again, I need to call him back and soon we should hear back from him. It's taking a while.
Come on, Otto. You were supposed to call me back. There we go. So. Authority granted. I I had the authority. Oh, you cheeky bastard. Uh, come on, Otto. Do the right thing. Relinquished. Okay. And one more time. Oh. Now I can request the signal. Oh, okay. I need to call him at the next control point. Oh, but I got a signal. Uh, what's going on in here? Why do I have a green signal? That's interesting. Okay. For as long as we got green signals, we will carry on. And then Otto will try to route my train, I believe. Yeah, that looks okay. And this is green. Perfect. So now we should be good. I believe the speed limit here is 30 miles an hour. Okay, we got the green light, perfect. Let's see, uh, there is only light strain on the couplers, as you can see. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. So hopefully, we won't break anything today. Or rather, anything more than I already broke, I believe. Oh yes, you will need a lot of engines for that. Although... A lot. Hmm. That's a good question. In run 8, you would probably get away with like 6, maybe 8 engines. Eh, uh, Luigi Rota, we already left the station and now we are heading to our destination. So we are already on our way.
There we go. You can go up to notch 4. And you can turn off the bell. Yes, very slowly. We are currently doing 20 miles an hour and the speed seems to be dropping a little bit. Even with four engines uh, trying to bring this train up to correct speed. It might go up to notch 5. There we go, now we are speeding up. Yes, the horn is much better than in Train Sim World 2. And the fun thing about this game is that uh, you can actually design your own horns for the locomotives and put them into the game files and they will work. So if you've got your own horn, uh, you can actually upload it. Well, upload it. You can actually get it into the game. Okay, I, I believe we need notch 6 for that. My goodness me, this climb will be very heavy if this train needs notch 6 on relatively even ground. I wonder what will happen when we will get to a proper incline. go we can turn off the bell and now we got defect detector So soon we will be able to find out if there are any defects with our train, which is good because we are not traveling at high speed. And we got another green light, which is even better. Okay, let's go to notch 7.
Uh, hi Nam. So there are two speed limits that apply to me. Obviously there is maximum speed at which this train can move. Uh, which is displayed in bottom right corner of of the right screen. So that's the top speed that my train will ever be able to go, even if the track speed is higher. And if I remember correctly, the track speed limit in that track section is 50 miles an hour. So basically that should answer your question. Although yeah, uh, in in that track section I'm I'm driving from uh, from memory because uh, I I really haven't seen any speed limit signs yet. But we will get there. We will get there and the speed limit will change. Okay, we are now on notch 8, chat. Notch 8. Oh, this train will take ages to reach a proper speed. Yes, correctly. Obviously different trains in the US have different speed limits, uh, but in most cases it's like around 55 miles an hour for freight trains. I think intermodal trains have 70, uh, but it also depends on railways. Uh, so right now we are doing a trip as a Union Pacific so we have to adhere to their rules. There we go. That train next to us was really fast, isn't it? So that's, that ensures me that we can probably do 50 miles an hour if our train will ever get to that speed. Hoodie, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, that might be the case because he is descending. Oh, there we go. Uh, that was UP detector on track two from the other train. And we are now approaching a stop signal. So let's drop it down to notch five. Because we need to reduce our speed before the next signal. The weekend is going to be wonderful. 
I'm glad to hear that. I'm really glad to hear that. There we go. We are doing 30 miles an hour. In fact, let's do it on notch 7. go okay and probably we can see the okay that was approach signal and that's the speed limit sign there we go perfect so we will now see the speed limit for that track And the speed limit for this track, chat, is 50 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, getting older, isn't it? Okay, let's let's check if Otto can now give me the signal. Call me at the next control point. I am at the control point. Almost. Oh dear. So I will have to get to the... Yeah, to the next signal. Oh my goodness gracious. That's the alerter. <laughs> that is not ideal. Yeah. True. By the way, why did that... Ah... Uh, Chat, why didn't you tell me that I have bell on? Oh my dear, you forgot to host me on, on Twitch. Oh, what a shame. You can always fix it, if you want. go now we can turn the bell off perfect beautiful Thank you very much. Thank you very much for host. I'm not sure if the uh, notification will play for that uh, because you are not hosting it for several viewers unless you have some viewers. But yeah, I, I think there is a threshold set uh, for that notification, so it might not pop up on the stream. There we go. We are now approaching the red signal. So let's quickly... contact with Otto and let's see if he can set my signal otherwise I will have to stop the train 
There we go. Ah, I see, I see, I see. So we just get very short track section because Otto managed to line things up for another train. So we will have to stop and let another train to pass. But Otto is now aware of our route. Nice, nice. Enjoy walking your dog out. He will probably enjoy that too. Okay, we can turn the bell off. let it coast so that we won't go too fast over that switch Ooh, and that is rather fast yeah 22 miles an hour there we go now we need to pull our train into the siding. Dominic Toretto, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. Oh my goodness me. Uh, that uphill section is going to make things a little bit more difficult. go notch three sh yeah notch three should be enough <laughs> I'm sure he is waiting for it and yes, Andrew, uh, the game has full multiplayer, although today I'm playing in single player uh, because the server that I want to join requires me to have some specific information and knowledge before I can fully join the server and eventually start playing there. Uh, so I still need to practice and I can do that in single player because as you can see, the game is fully functional. Uh, although I won't see other players and I won't have a uh, human dispatcher. Uh, but eventually that will happen and I will start doing some jobs on, on an actual server. But it requires some time for me to learn. And on top of that, uh, I think there is a short like a test that you need to take before you can start working on that server. But it's, it's really... It really sounds fun, so so yeah, I will work towards that goal at some point, and we will see this game in multiplayer. And I can tell you, this game is fantastic in multiplayer. Go, let's go to notch four. So that I can have some speed. Okay, entire train is now in that siding, so Otto will be able to route the other train when it arrives.
but it's gonna take a while. Why so slowly? Because I'm approaching the red lights. And you don't want to rush when approaching red lights, uh, because on top of that I'm pulling 6,000 tons, well almost 6,000 tons of cargo. So stopping this train from a high speed will be much more difficult than stopping it from 15 miles an hour. That's why we are moving very slowly. On top of that, uh, from what I can see, we are approaching downhill section, so I, I will probably engage some dynamic brakes just to make sure that I won't overshoot the signal. So let's drop it by a notch. Yeah, we are definitely speeding up. Okay, now we are slowing, but it won't last forever. Oh, and, and there is DPU error. Oh, that's, that's a bad moment, I guess. Okay. It is working again. Oh, but the train is speeding up. So, let's set up dynamic brakes. And let's use some dynamic braking. There we go. We will now slow down. Perfect. We can release the brakes. Oh wow, the train is speeding up really fast. But we still got some distance towards the signal, so I should have enough time. To slow this thing down. There we go. I definitely need to work on controlling my speed. Okay, we will release the brakes. Now turn off dynamic brakes. 
and let the train roll. We are still slowing down, but I believe there is a small part of my train that should still be on that downhill section. If not, I can always pull it forward. There we go. And very soon. It's not that far, I can already see it. Signal is just there. But I can go closer. So let's go on to notch 2. Let's push this train forward. Yeah, definitely I will have to work on dynamic use of brakes. Although, to be honest, it's not that bad stop. Uh, because I still would like to stop in front of that railroad crossing to not block it for next like 20 minutes. So we will just pull the train a little bit closer so that I can see the signal a tiny bit better and then we will stop. Very slowly, 8 miles an hour. There we go. Nice and steady. Okay, that's good. UP detector milepost three, two, eight point six. Oh, is that? Was there a mile? No, there shouldn't be a detector here. Okay, we can now stop the train. Oh, in fact, I forgot to put up the fence. Okay, that was the slack. Twenty pounds in independent brake. Let's put it back to idle, and there we go. And the other train is now passing right next to us, which is perfect. Okay, we can take off the fence. The train is nicely stretched right now. So we should be good to go really soon. Yeah, exactly. Ambient 
Temperature, 8, 4 degrees. UP detector out. Okay, for some reason, UP detector was going off, even though it's not my train. There we go. Now I just need to wait for Otto to change my signal. Hopefully he will do that. There we go. Signal has changed. Now we can release the brakes. And give it notch one. And very soon we should start to move. Okay, let's give it notch two. Right, hi Nam. Uh, as I mentioned before, I stopped the train to not block this railroad crossing. Because until the other train showed up, there was no need for me to, to block this railway crossing, so people can actually cross it while my train is waiting for another train to pass from the other direction. And obviously right now it's not needed. Andrew Noble, uh, so uh, this simulator, uh, the base price is 50 US dollars and then you have various different DLCs to it and the thing about those DLCs is that they connect with each other uh, in most cases so all the routes within this area that you will buy as a DLC will be addition to the current one. <laughs> now the others, that's not how it works like blocking the route uh, or blocking the junction for, for cars for like 20 minutes uh, that, that should not happen if you can stop in front of the railway crossing and allow other traffic to go why shouldn't you do that There we go. Andrew Noble, now it's not on Steam. Uh, the link to the game's website is in video's description. So if you navigate to, to the description under the video, I posted a link uh, to, to the main game's website where you can also buy it. Okay, let's measure the length of the train so that I can speed up past 30 miles an hour. Because I believe the speed limit for that switch was 30 miles an hour. I might be wrong though, but yeah, it, it, it seems to be quite delicate. So uh, I, I think 30 miles an hour will be appropriate. And then we can try and speed up to 55 if this train can handle that much There we go
Yes, we got some. AI traffic here. They don't cross through every crossing very often, but sometimes they do, and, and blocking that is inappropriate, so... Okay, I, I wonder what, what that is. I, oh yeah, that is defect detector, is it? Okay, we can now speed up to full track speed. <laughs> yeah, but in this case we are in America. You shouldn't be doing that. Roblox, hello, welcome back. go let's go all the way to notch 8 Okay, I haven't seen any other speed limit signs, so I assume... So I assume that it's still 50 miles an hour. Nice, nice. You sold six trains. That's that's really good. That's really good. And what we are driving today is uh, what is that? AC forty four hundred uh, or AC forty four? Something like that. I, I I'm terrible. It's basically dash nine in one of the million variations of it. Yes, definitely one of the trains. KCS leading. I, I, I'm not fully aware about KCS. Uh, oh, there we go. We got another speed limit here. Let's drop it to idle, just in case I'm about to go over the speed limit. Although I believe it will be... Oh, that's 30. Oh my goodness me. I am I am definitely going too fast right now. Okay, let's let's go to notch 5. That should be enough to slow us down. Oh, Kansas City Sprinter. Okay. Yeah, un unfortunately I'm not from America, so I don't really know all the American trains. They can be fun. But I'm mostly sitting in, in like Europe and in, in, in that area when it comes to the trains. Oh, there we go. We got another green light and DPU was having some hiccups. Okay, okay, where is this going now? Alright. Looks like it's working. We are doing 27 miles an hour, which is appropriate speed for that section. In fact, I might give it a notch.
There we go. Oh yes, uh, this sim is very enjoyable. Oh. As long as you learn how to operate on American railroads, which uh, I, I believe the routes that I have have two different signaling systems. One of them is coming from BNSF and the other one is from Union Pacific. So you need to also know on whose tracks you are on because signal indications will differ between those two. So yeah, yeah, there are specific complications. Uh, signage is also slightly different from bo uh, for both of them. So that is making things more interesting. And on top of that, full multiplayer and ability to basically operate with industries that are uh, along the line. So you can basically resupply different industries and deliver cargo to them or take a freight from them. So this is very interesting how this game works. And all that is one big massive sandbox. So yeah, the sim definitely has a great potential and it's not wasted one. Unlike Train Sim World 2, which is yeah, massively wasted potential, I'd say. Okay, we are on notch 6. Let me put the fence up. And get rear locomotives all the way to notch 7. Because we are climbing uphill. And I can see we are lacking some power. Although not too much. So it's only one locomotive that will be on notch 7. Pushing the train together. Oh yes, yes, you can actually buy Amtrak uh, expansion for this and, and go with passenger runs along these, uh, these lines. Unfortunately, I don't have this DLC. There we go. We got a green light, and there is a yellow light on, on the other track, because uh, I believe at the end of that double track section, there is a red light for the left track. Uh, let me just double check it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I got a green light all the way to the next double track section, which will take a while. And there is another defect detector, if I remember correctly, is it? Oh no, that's that's only alerter. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now everything is going uphill. Okay. Let's give it notch 8 on the rear locomotives, just to make sure that I can keep up my momentum. Oh, and DPU error just kicked in. No brakes challenge now. Not yet. Not yet. Diavos, that will come. I can guarantee you that we will have some issues with brakes at some point. I know myself and I know that I'm quite crap with it. So at some point I will fail. <laughs> Okay, I got rear consist at notch 8 and the front one at notch 7 and from what I can see 
we are still slowing down. That is amazing. Oh, okay, okay. I, I think our speed stabilized, which is good. That is very good. Let's just look at this. There we go. Let's take this chance to grab another nice screenshot from this game. Just look at it go. There we go. We got some nice screenshots from here. Oh, and the whole thing is slowing down. So let's give it notch 8 on both locomotives. And now we got full power. We can't go any faster with this thing. So as long as I got enough power to actually climb that hill, I will be able to go. But it won't be a fast one, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yes, definitely. Uh, the route has a lot of variety. All right, chat. Oh, this train is barely holding its speed. I, I am getting really worried. I am genuinely worried if, if this train can handle that route. Oh my goodness gracious. We are pulling over a thousand amps from this thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. Andrew Noble, there is no bank income in this game. In that game, basically, things work as they should, so you don't need some imaginary thing like uh, bank income. That is just something that Dovetail designed themselves. And by the way, speed limit for this bit of track is 23 miles an hour. So, I can go down by a notch. As I don't need to go that fast. go perfect Now the rear of the train is working at notch 8. Ooh. But the front is on notch 6. Which means that the train will be nicely compressed because of difference in power. And our, our speed will be much easier to control. Perfect. Let me see where we are. 
Ah, uh, yes. We are approaching another single track section. Okay, we can drop the rear of the train by a notch. Oh my goodness me, trains. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I, I, I'm i really not fan of trains series. Uh, like, it used to be nice uh, back in the days when you had multiplayer and, and like when I didn't really knew how to how to drive in other simulators. The trains was really nice starter uh, because of very simplified controls and because how everything is pretty much very simple in there. Uh, but yeah, right now I, I wouldn't even touch this game. I, I have it. Uh, I have like multiple versions of trains, uh, but yeah, I, I don't really find it fun to play. It's it's really embarrassing how how bad this game works. And on top of that, in order to get DLCs, you have to pay for that download station and, and stuff like that. Which is making it even worse. Like, yeah, I, I can't really stand this game myself. So, yeah, I, I totally get you why 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 you would uninstall this game. It's nice when you are like when you just want to simulate something that is like a model railway. Yes, trains is pretty good at this. Uh, but yeah, anything else than that, it's uh it's it's really terrible. I see why there was like an advanced speed limit there. Okay, okay, okay. That explains a lot. Yeah, definitely. Like, it was a nice idea to, to offer people something that can, rad uh, well, not be exactly a train simulator it, it was like a model railway simulator where you can build your own layouts and, and do funny stuff with it but even the editor is ah, i don't know the editor in that game is really weird uh, like you can build stuff with it you can build amazing layouts run trains and and do all all sorts of stuff but you really need to practice a lot to make it work and I think the moment when they tried to like hit that train simulation uh, or train simulator uh, like niche and and become a simulator itself, uh, that's when they failed. Because if they would stay with that arcadey stuff, when they say we are not a simulator, we do want people to build amazing layouts in this game, and we will develop this editor even better and better and allow for greater functionality or greater control over your trains or like a virtual dispatcher that you can program and, and do stuff like that uh, perhaps that would be the better idea uh, on top of that with the great graphics that might actually work uh, but when they started to declare we want to be a simulator and they kept on failing with that yeah, that's that's actually embarrassing what they are doing right now and, and the game is not really that great because there are much better simulators out there. Oh yeah, SimRail uh, is, is gonna take a while before it's released. Although, recently, if somebody is on, on my Discord, I posted another update from the developers. Basically, they shared some screenshots from uh, Warsaw West, I think, or West Warsaw uh, Station, so... They are working on, on things and they are constantly keep announcing that uh, like some big announcement is going to come really soon. So I think they are about to finish the game and they will soon announce the release date. I do hope for it. Okay, let's let's get the rear locomotives all the way to notch eight. There we go. Ok, 
Okay, we are going really slow over that section. But the speed limit is only 23 miles an hour, so I'm, I'm just 6 miles an hour below speed limit, which isn't that bad. But it's a great test uh, to see if my train will handle uh, the Hachapi loop, uh, which is like 2.5% great. So yeah, it looks like I got some extra power. And we should be able to go through the Hachapi loop without too much problems. we go we got a tunnel chat we got a tunnel Just perfect. For now it looks like there are no defects uh, to our train. And everything is working fine. And hopefully it will stay that way. Up until the end. Okay, looks like we are slowing down. So I will bring the front locomotive all the way to notch 6 there we go well there are things that can go bad, uh, like one of my locomotives might develop uh, a malfunction, I had that in the past. Uh, I had few instances in that game when I had some random malfunction with uh, one of the wagons and I had to stop the train in, uh, in one of the weird spots and, and get it fixed. Uh, so yeah. It, it's not said that my perfect driving will always result in perfect result uh, because the game also has that random element uh, that I can't control. So there is a high chance I might develop some issue and next time I will pass over defect detector I will get a message please stop the train immediately because something is wrong and I will have to solve that. Oh my goodness me, I'm, I'm pulling so many amps out of rear locomotives. This is absolutely... Ooh. This is bad, chat. This is bad. And I'm barely holding my speed. Oh, there we go. We are approaching stop. I, I believe, yeah, next two signals and I will have to stop. But we got through that section, which is good. Uh, let me see where we are. Ah, yes, I'm now approaching this section and then we are waiting for another train to go from the other side.
Okay, let me measure the length of my train just to make sure that I will fully bring it into that siding. But then the hardest part will come. Because I will have to get the string moving and I'm in uphill section. So chat, something nice is going to happen or something bad is going to happen. One of the two. There are only two results and we shall see which one we will get. Oh yes, yes, uh, all the locomotives have their own running time, they, they got tear and wear, so basically, like, literally, you can drive the locomotive for so long that it will break down naturally, because it, it has been driven for so long. Uh, obviously, each locomotive has its own fuel, uh, so you might run out of fuel and, and other stuff, although I... I believe all these locomotives had enough fuel for that trip, so we should be alright. There we go, entire train is now on that double track section. And we still got one more signal to go through. There we go, that was alerter. My goodness me, this is really a bendy road, isn't it? Look at that! Oh! And we got something similar to Horseshoe Curve. Yeah! That's gonna be a nice place to grab some screenshots. at this let's set up the camera yeah that's gonna be really good that's gonna be the first screenshot Beautiful. Yeah, that's really nice. Chat. Just look at this. Just... Ah, oh, there we go. We got two screenshots. Nice. Okay, and that is approach signal. So very soon we will have to stop this bad boy. How far is the other train? Yeah, the other train is on another double track section, so we still got a long way. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is gonna be interesting. Ok, 
Okay, that is a crossover point. Let's measure it again, just to make sure that entire train will get onto that crossover. And I also need to be very careful right now, because we need to stop this train really soon. Okay, about a half of the yeah, about half of this train is on double track section behind the crossover point. Right, now, where is that signal? Ooh. I, I really hate such a curvy road, because the signal might just pop up from, uh, from behind the corner, and we will really have to stop it quick. And I mean it, very quick. And since we are going uphill, uh, technically stopping should take us a little bit less time, but harsh stopping is not advised. Oh, and we also got railroad crossing there, is it? Nah, that's not railroad crossing, okay. Yes, very blind one, uh, that's... Oh, there we go. That's where the signal is. So, what I'm going to do... I will put front locomotive to idle. Let's keep rear locomotives at notch 2 for now. Or maybe, no, let's keep them out. Oops, I, I might have stopped a little bit too soon. Oh, we got DPU error. Okay, but we are still going forward. And there is also railroad crossing in front of that, which is very good. So what I can do, I can now put it on idle. The rear locomotive is sanding, which is good. Okay, and now... Now we can stop. There we go. Entire train has its brakes applied, including the front locomotive. So that should be alright. 
So chat. Right now we have to wait for a train to pass that single track section. So what I can do is to take a short break because definitely I might need one. Uh, but before that will happen, Captain Michael, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. Uh, you you pretty much chosen <laughs> pretty weird time to, to show up. Although yeah, uh, we we will soon uh, carry on. As you can see, the train from the other direction is now actually entering this section. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect. So he will soon pass. But I will take a very short break before I will continue that journey. So probably this guy will pass before I return. And then we shall continue. So I'll be back with you really soon.
All right, all right, all right, chat. I'm back. I am back, and we can continue our journey according to the signals. So now I need to get this thing moving. Oh my goodness me, this is gonna be interesting. So I wonder if I will do that. Nah, this won't work, isn't it? Yeah, that won't work. Oh, okay. So. For some reason that doesn't work at all. Okay, now it works. I can release the brakes in front locomotive. Oh, okay, that releases the brakes in all locomotives. That makes things a little bit easier. So end of the train needs to push the consist first before I can move because I'm in uphill. And by the way, Rody12, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. Okay, so we got notch one at the back. Let's give it notch two. Let's wait for it. Let's wait for it. Okay. Now I can give it notch one at the front locomotive and start pulling. And I can release the brakes. And hopefully we got enough power for this train to start moving. Oh, no, we are rolling back. Oh, chat, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, we need to apply brakes. Let's release the brakes in locomotives. There we go. Perfect. So we got notch 2 and notch 4. Let's give it notch 5, notch 6 perhaps. Uh, that might be enough. Let's give it notch 4 in the front. And now let's release the brakes. And fingers crossed, this thing will move forward. And it is. It is in fact moving forward. Perfect! Okay, but there is a high... Ooh, oh my goodness me. Look look at this strain on, on the couplers. Oh my goodness me. Alright chat, we are moving. We made it! We made it! Okay, let's let's put the front at notch five. And we should be Gucci. Just perfect. Okay. So we made it. Uh, from now on I will be able to keep this train going, I believe. Uh, so now I can address uh, Captain Michael's question. So the game is called Run 8, as I mentioned on the chat. And it's American Train Simulator. And as you can see, it's really well done. Uh, the game has... Well, the graphics is kind of outdated, uh, but that's not the most important thing. 
uh, the simulation level is really high in this game so you really need to put an effort and know what you are doing in order to do it right on top of that the game has multiplayer which is making it kind of similar to train driver 2 although the difference is that you don't really have loading screens in between sceneries and the sceneries here are massive they are absolutely massive okay let's put it on notch 7 although we don't have contact with the other unit just yet there we go and the front goes to notch 6 okay for some reason we got some brakes going I don't know what's going on chat I, I think we have some issue I, I think there might be some issues chat okay for, for now things are looking nice But this graph is showing me some weird things. It's like the brakes are not released for some reason. Oh, did we actually broke the coupler? I'm sure everything is fine, is it? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay. Is the rear set going to show up? Yeah, there is some, there is a little bit of brakes in the rear. Oh, look at that smoke, my goodness me. Okay, an entire train is here. The whole train made it. Although I have a feeling that there is some issue that I will soon find out about. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, let's go to notch 8 at the back. And notch 7 at the front. To keep the train compressed. <laughs> Hi now, my streams are always long and this stream will be much much longer <phone rings> Unit alarm Okay, okay I think we got some problems, chat. I think we got some problems. Oh, never mind, never mind. It, it looks like everything is fine.
Why was it showing unit alarm? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Overheating? Why why would it overheat? No. I mean, yes, DPU can can uh, lose connection. But something something goes wrong. Something gone wrong. I I I I'm I'm fairly sure about it. Uh, let me check. Okay, we, we got clearance until next section. We got another DPU error, which is fine. But the question is, what did go wrong? Okay, for now everything seems to be fine. Yeah, I, I am now waiting for that detector. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> this is gonna be fun to hear. Yeah, your train is broken. Fix it. But there's definitely something wrong. Uh, I, I got some brake force at the rear. And it shouldn't be there. So I, I, I think something went really wrong. Well, chat, we will soon find out. Because there should be detector. Soon. <laughs> I am calm. I am. I am. I am. Yeah, maybe it was a false alarm. But why there is air in brake cylinders at the rear? That's the question. There should be no air in there. Oh well, chat, we will soon find out, we will soon find out. Hi now, we are very far away from the end. So to give it to perspective, I'm heading here to Mojave Yard and I'm currently approaching Roven. So we need to go through Woodford, Wallong, Marcel, Cable, Cable Crossover, Tehachapi, Cameroon and finally we will end up at Mojave Yard. So there's still quite long journey to go. I, I believe it's gonna take us about two hours to get there. Brakes overheating. It might be. Huh? Although there's only two pounds of pressure in brake cylinder. Uh, so what I might do is 
I will do that. So I just applied brakes a little bit and released them again just to make sure that all the train is released. And hopefully now, there we go, it is equalizing. And there are no brakes. Okay. So hopefully now everything will work. Well, Hainam, that's quite typical for my streams, so I don't know why you are surprised by it. <laughs> yes, my streams are usually quite long. They go for like five to six hours, uh, sometimes eight. I think the longest one I did was over 13 hours, so... Sticky brake cylinder. Maybe, maybe. Uh, that might be the case. Uh, hopefully it won't be picked up by defect detector. Otherwise it will be problem. Country kit of train vlog adventures. Thank you very much for subscribing. Oh my goodness me, that is a long nickname. That is a long nickname. Thank you very much for subscribing and welcome to the chat if you are in. Uh, you will probably be able to chat with us in about 10 minutes. There we go. Both locomotives are now on notch 8. And we got another DPU error. That's a lot of smoke, isn't it? There we go. Okay, and we got double yellow. Uh, what does double yellow mean? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Advanced advanced approach uh, in diverging direction okay 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 was it yeah I, I think that's that's something like that so i shouldn't be going over 30 miles an hour which i probably want anyway because as you can see my speed is quite stable uh, but i will be stopping soon got another DPU error that's gonna happen quite a lot in this area because yeah obviously we are in mountainous area where trains have to go along the mountains and stuff and the communication over DPU is happening through the radio so that's why it's happening there we go another error Let's just 
quickly verify. Yeah. UP7941. We are now approaching Roven. Perfect. Rody12, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Uh, you just became a crew member. That's that's really nice. Thank you very much for all that support. There we go. Now we need to prepare to stop. Because we had red over yellow. That wasn't for me. It's not for my train. It's for that AI train nearby. <laughs> yes, I I think I made this notification a little bit louder than than the others. Just to uh, Jessica Tim, that wasn't uh, detector for my train. But since I'm on the same radio channel as other trains, uh, I will hear their uh, detectors. There we go, and that's the train that's going from the opposite direction. So if we are lucky, this train will clear the junction before I will reach the end of that track and I might not have to stop but that is if I'm lucky I'm not moving too fast uh, as you can see I'm doing 19 miles an hour so that's not too fast and probably this train won't go any faster because I'm moving uphill but yeah keep your fingers crossed guys uh, or I shall say ladies and gentlemen and and we will hopefully carry on without stopping well because that notification has to notify me as well you know <laughs> and it's much harder to miss something when you when it jump scares you Although notifications are still set to a volume that doesn't exceed uh, the game's volume, it's still pretty much the same volume, but, but it's the sound that, that is making you jump scare, so it's not that bad. Okay, the train next to me definitely cleared the junction, so I'm hoping that Otto set my route already. But I need to visually verify that. There we go. <laughs> well it will keep happening every now and then and I'm really glad when it happens at least for certain notifications obviously okay we can now see the signal yes it's green chat we got green light we don't need to stop so 
let's just carry on. The speed is just perfect, 19 miles an hour, which should be slow enough for that junction. There we go. And that's a milepost detector chat, so soon we will find out if there is everything alright with my train. Very soon chat, very soon. That's another green light. Let's have a look at this. Ooh, that looks lovely. We got another nice screenshot. Although, let's jump into the cab first. I need to hear that detector. Because if there is something wrong with my train, I'd rather know about it. Still nothing. UP detector milepost three four seven point zero. No defects. No defects. Total axles two zero four. Train speed one seven mph. Ambient temperature eight five degrees. UP detector out. There we go, chat. No defects. Train vlog, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you have a great time today. And welcome to the chat. There we go. Beautiful. We got no defects, everything is working fine. And hopefully it will stay that way until the end of that journey. And that's another double track section. Okay, let's measure it up. Just to make sure that entire train made it. There we go. We got another DPU error. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that 
that's that's definitely a name that is uh, well very long and hard to remember <laughs> Oh, nice! Whistle board! Beautiful! Okay, we can turn the bell off. Really nice. Okay, and, and the train seems to be holding its speed pretty well. C forty five AC CTE. I I think it's I think it's C forty four. Uh, let me just quickly verify that, to be honest, oh, not this one. Uh, I believe... No, that's C44. Ah, yes, that's gonna be ES44DC. Yeah, that's the one I used for this one. Oh my goodness me, chat, I, this train is really struggling, like, these four engines, these four engines are barely making it, that's really amazing. Uh, train vlog. Uh, I got two engines at the front and two engines at the back. The train is not that long. But it's long enough and heavy enough to, to actually do that. So, yeah, I got two pairs of, line, of engines. One at the front, one at the back. Alright, chat, I believe. <laughs> Train vlog, I can't speed up anymore. That that's the maximum speed I can achieve with those locomotives on such great. We are climbing probably like 2% grade at the moment and this train can't do any more there's just not enough power both pairs are on notch 8 that's that's the maximum this thing can go Right, anyway, chat, I believe the next place we will visit here 
is gonna be the Hachapi look. goodness me that you can feel that power even though you you are not sitting in those engines like wow almost six thousand tons going at 20 miles an hour uphill that's really amazing Why would we need five engines? Like six hour of train ride. Uh, yeah, that that might end up being six hour long stream. Perhaps it might end up being even longer. Yes, exactly, chat. This is the Hachapi loop. Too bad my train is too short to fully enjoy this bit, but very soon we will be on, on that looping section. There we go. outside there we go in fact oh there we go I, I can turn off the chat we don't really need chat at the moment so we can turn it off beautiful Very soon we will be going over the loop. Oh, we are technically going over the loop right now. There we go, that's the tunnel. And above the tunnel there is another set of tracks. And I will be driving over that trucks very soon Okay, so now we will be on the left track for some reason. Uh, I, I don't know why Otto is always routing trains onto the left track rather than the right track primarily. But that's what it does. So if there's gonna be any train approaching from the other direction, Otto has basically routed both of trains onto the left track. Is there anything approaching from the front? Uh, 
Where am I? Uh, B. Okay. Oh, there is nothing in the front. Okay. Okay. The next train that that there is in front of me is UP seven eight seven seven, and it's gonna take a while before we meet somewhere on the line. There we go. Perhaps that's not the best angle to take photographs of the Hachapi look. That might be a bit better angle. Yeah, there we go. And we are going over that tunnel. Perfect. All right. So not long now, chat. Not long now. There's just a few sections that we need to go across. And then we should be arriving at Mojave Yard. If that was a sand patch, uh, you might want to visit the video that I made about fully fueled, where I'm showing how you can set up your locomotives in Train Sim World 2 to go over that hill. Although it's not exactly correct way to set it up, but that's how it works in Train Sim World. So there's not much I can do, it's it's just broken game mechanics. Train Vlog, uh, I'm actually not using any consoles, uh, like, the only console I got is Nintendo Switch, which is currently in one of the cupboards, never used, pretty much I bought it and I used it for like, two, three weeks, and then I just chucked it into into cupboard, and, and, and that's where it is right now. <laughs> Well, I'm fairly sure you could bring a little bit more out of it, unless it's some sort of custom build consist that you made and, and it's not listed in one of the scenarios. If it's any of the scenarios consist, uh, I'm fairly sure if you will follow what I did in Fully Fueled, it will work in Train Sim World 2. 
so you probably missed something. But if it was like custom built consist, then yeah, uh, it is possible that you wouldn't be able to move if you put two little engines in your consist. That's that's the only way you you can fail while following this setup. Yeah, but what engines did you have? Like if it's SD40-2 uh, that that thing can't really pull that much, especially on, uh, on like inclines. So you really need a lot of these to to be able to pull it. There we go. We are approaching another single track section. And you said that was like 7,000 tons. Uh, yeah, pro probably you should be able to, to pull it if you set up everything correctly. That's really weird, really weird, uh, but you can send your consist over on my Discord server. I might give it a shot at one point and, and see if I can manage it. There we go. Oh, you forgot to, to take a picture. Well, so next time take notes of what you are putting in your consist. Or which scenario are you driving. And so I, I will attempt to, to do it. Maybe, obviously. But yeah, I, I might do it. That might be interesting. There we go, chat. We are slowly climbing up that hill. Still on notch 8. All the time. No brakes. But you know, the old rule, what what goes up has to go down, so very soon we will be going downhill. And then different challenges will... will be present. And I will have to keep the train within the speed limit, without crashing or overheating the brakes. I wonder if I can manage it.
let the brakes glow. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't think I want to do that, chat. I, I, I don't think I want to break something. This, this would be very embarrassing. Would it be? Or maybe. I don't know. Oh. But once more, chat, we have something in brake cylinder at the back. There we go. So I believe, yeah, mm, there are some brakes and I don't like it. Okay, let's let's try and and fix it. Okay. Now everything is releasing. Perfect. So looks like there are some problems with our train, but uh, I don't know how to fix it. Like that shouldn't be happening, chat. We got some sticky brakes. Yeah, I also hope that, that there won't be any malfunctions. I mean, uh, Jessica team, manual check won't give me anything because, like, there is no animation for it, so I won't be able to see it. Like, in reality, yes, you would probably want to stop somewhere on one of the sidings and give it a look. There we go, I got a nice screenshot of train going out of the tunnel. This is really good, look at all this smoke, oh dear. I believe there is another tunnel soon. Let's get a little bit closer with the camera, there we go. Let's grab another nice screenshot. Beautiful. And there's gonna be another tunnel, is it? Yep, there is another tunnel. Obviously the camera can't go any lower there we go beautiful i like it i like it oh and here's another tunnel That's a really nice route. I like it. Although, as you can see, the graphics, yeah, graphics is not the greatest, but who cares about the graphics? Like, the gameplay is absolutely amazing. 
Is that the longest one? Hmm. That's nice. That's nice. There's gonna be longer ones, I, I believe. At some point you will be able to watch me. <laughs> For a bit longer than than normally, uh, I guess. Although I think this will... Yeah, this stream should be over in like two hours. At most. We are not that far away from Mojave Yards. So we should be good. Oh, there we go. And we are approaching a red light. And now we will be on the left track. Is it? Yeah, we will again be on the left track. And I believe later on we will have a crossover to, to the right track. Uh, let me just verify that story. Yep, uh, we are going to have a crossover. So I need to keep control over my speed. Yes, exactly. In that sim, you can easily forget about the graphics and, and, and like, just enjoy it. I, I really like it. Honestly, like that's the best spend fifty dollars. And the good thing is that all the root DLCs are actually connecting with each other, apart from like a few that are in completely different areas of of the US, obviously. But if it's same area DLC, then the root will just connect to to the current ones. Renji, hello! Welcome to the stream, I hope you'll have a great time today! There we go, chat! We are moving! We can't go too fast though, uh, because we will be going over crossing point or crossover. So we have to keep our speed in check. I can see that, yeah, we are now starting to speed up. Because we are going over the peak really soon. So let me just reduce the throttle. At least at the front. go now our speed is stabilizing really slow I guess dropping it by two notches was a little bit too much yeah, let's let's give it one extra notch. It might take a while before everything will stabilize. Now we should be approaching that crossover, which is somewhere near there. Still can't see it, but I'm sure soon we will. Uh, 
uh, how far is it to destination? Uh, I I don't know how how long exactly is the route between Bakersfield and Mojave Desert, uh, but we are roughly in the middle. Uh, so if you check how long this route should be, you will roughly know where we are. Because yeah, we are in the middle of the journey. Although the other half will be much faster because we will be traveling at like 50 miles an hour. But for now, our speed is greatly limited. Well, Hainan, it's, it's really hard to upgrade uh, the RAM in some of the laptops, so no wonder. Like, if, if the laptop doesn't have support for any more RAM, uh, or if you can't get any more RAM for that laptop, then yeah, obviously it's really hard to upgrade it. Definitely, like, regular PC is much easier to upgrade, so, yeah, that's that's perfectly normal to, to not upgrade RAM in, in laptops. There we go. Why is that crossover? It should be somewhere here. Oh, okay. Now I see where it is. Let's have a look. And we have... Yeah, red over green. So we will be going over a crossing point. Oh, I see, I see. So that's how he's going to upgrade. Well, so when he will do it, then... Then he will enjoy extra... Extra RAM. Extra power. Extra speed. There we go. Let's now measure the length so that I know when entire train left this crossover point. And who knows, soon I might even be able to speed up. Uh, yeah, I, I mostly use it for railroad crossings and if I'm setting off at, uh, at the red light. Although sometimes I keep forgetting about that second one. Uh, I'm not sure if, if you are supposed to use it in, in other situations. I, I'm not that much f that familiar with uh, traffic rules. Uh, but I will definitely read about it and, and if, if I'm making some mistakes I will at some point fix it. 
Uh, but yeah, at this moment I'm using it mostly for railroad crossings. When starting and stopping the engines. And eventually during maneuvers when I'm indicating which direction I'm moving. And there we go, entire train has now passed the crossing point. But there is still 30 miles an hour speed limit if I remember correctly. And we are still going uphill, chat. Oh, there we go, that's the other train. <laughs> Enjoy your coffee. Okay, chat, speed limit is going up to 55 in about 2,500 feet. Beautiful. And we got another nice screenshot as well. Which is even better. Very good chat. Very good. What was a second engine? Uh, no, no, this, the second set of engines is at the back, so... So the screenshot I took was looking towards the first engine. And now we can speed up to 55 so I can keep the train up notch 8. There we go, we are also approaching railway crossing. Oi! What are you doing? See, that was one crazy AI. My goodness me. Some people surely have a death wish. Right. We are
We are now going downhill. So I'm gonna use only front engines. Just to make sure that I will have better control over my speed. Luigi Rota, we are technically already speeding up. Well, technically, because we are on very slight hill at the moment, but when we get over that slight hill, the train will start pushing on me. And I will speed up. of the bell and you can see that our speed is still slightly dropping although as more and more of my train is going over the peak it will start pushing on the locomotive and speeding it up there we go well I don't expect everyone to like my videos, so that's that's perfectly normal. Hmm. Chat, for some reason, again... The rear set is reporting some air pressure. And yes, indeed, there is a pressure in the system. I don't know why this is happening. But this is definitely not correct. The problem is that none of the defect detectors ever reported anything with the brake pressure being wrong. But there's clearly something going on with it. Okay, now we are speeding up. Oh wait, chat, I might have forgotten, oh my goodness me, I, I think I know why the brake pressure is not equalizing properly. Uh, that's, that's a bit problematic, but I think I left one of the angle cocks only partially opened. Did I? Oh dear, I, I might have done it. And probably that's why we are struggling with air pressure sometimes. Oh, that might be a problem. If that's the case, that would be so... ...embarrassing. There we go, chat. We are now speeding up. Okay, we can let it coast. The gravity will do the job. In fact, what I can do, I can set 
the dynamic brake because I'm gonna have to use it. Okay, let's compress the whole thing. It's gonna take a moment before the speed will stabilize and I can then add a little bit more of dynamic brake. Okay, we are still gaining speed, which is alright. Because the track speed limit is 55. But I don't want to gain speed so rapidly. go perfect detector milepost three six three point eight track one no defense no defense total axle two zero four train speed four two mph ambient temperature seven eight degrees UP detector out There we go. Just perfect. And as I mentioned before, this part of the journey shouldn't take that long. We are getting very close to our destination. And it's all going downhill. So we will be moving a little bit faster. Okay. We are speeding up a little bit too quickly, to my taste. Okay, that, that would be a little bit too fast to slow down. Okay, okay, I, I think we got it. Chat, I think we got this.
Now we can let it coast. And the speed limit is 40 miles an hour. Or at least we are approaching 40, 40 miles an hour speed limit. Which is perfect because we are doing 35. Okay, let's give it notch 3 on both locomotives and, and we should be Gucci. Okay, back to idle. I can already see the tracks going downhill. And the last thing I want to do is to hit that while speeding up because we need to keep our speed in check let's put up the fence let's set rear set uh, well let's set uh, the dynamic brake for rear set locomotives it is currently at zero which is perfect but when the train will start to go downhill I will be able to use dynamic brakes in both locomotives to control its speed but now from what I can see I can use the front locomotives to speed up Notch 5 should be enough. Okay, we are speeding up really nicely. Let's drop it down to notch 4. Notch 3. Down to 2. And we can now set it to idle. And in fact... We can use some dynamic brakes. And slow down the train. Okay, so that's the 40 mile an hour speed limit. I am going a little bit over it. Hopefully I will be able to slow down. We got full dynamic brakes on, on the front. Oh my goodness me. I am 10 miles an hour over the speed limit. Oh wow, it, it really takes a long time for this train to actually properly slow down. I definitely need to learn how to do it properly.
Yeah, so chat, as I said, there's gonna be some failures, and that was a clear failure. Uh, like, this entire track section has a 40 miles an hour speed limit, and I managed to hit 50. Because I couldn't slow the train down, even using dynamic brakes. They really take a long time to react. Okay, and that's a 35. And I'm still doing 38. My goodness me. Yeah, all those sudden grade changes are, are really hard to predict, especially when I don't know the route uh, that, that well. And, and I forgot to turn the bell off. There we go. I will slowly reduce the amps on dynamic brake just to make sure that I catch that sweet spot where the train won't be gaining speed and losing speed at the same time. And there will be that, that point and, and at this point I will have perfect amount of dynamic brakes. Although, right now, it looks like, yeah... Level 4 is still too high. Let's go down to level 3, and let's give it a minute. Okay, we are still slowing down on level 4. Let's go down to level 3. Okay, level 3 seems to be a lot. Level 2. Yeah, we are still slowing down faster than I would like to. Although I can already see that the tracks will go downhill from here. Okay, now we are picking up the speed. Now the speed is dropping again. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. There we go. I will slowly get there, chat. I will get there. Yeah, we are now definitely speeding up.
So the dynamic brake is almost at, yeah, it's at notch five and we are still speeding up really quickly. Okay, it's now at notch eight and we are still gaining a lot of speed. Yeah, we are going way faster than we should. My goodness me. Okay, let's use some normal brakes because we are definitely going above the speed limit. Okay, now the train is slowing down. Yeah, it's really hard to keep this train in, in control. I wouldn't call it a problem, but definitely I will need to learn how to use dynamic brakes properly because as you can see yeah th this is not a correct situation I have level 8 dynamic brakes in both sets of locomotives and I also dropped 10 pounds of brake by pressure so effectively right now my train is being brought to a stop and I'm still over 10 miles an hour over the speed limit. Okay, we can release the brakes. Fence goes down. Okay, okay, chat. One way or another, we are going to reach our destination. But yeah, definitely go, uh, going downhill is... Seems to be much harder than going uphill. <laughs> Okay, the train is just slightly speeding up. Okay, that's that's the maximum dynamic brake I can give it.
In fact, what I forgot to check. Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, is there a button? Yeah, I, I might have left dynamic brakes off in one of the locomotives. That's why I can't keep this train under control. Hmm. Another thing I forgot to check. Seriously, chat, I, I forgot about so many things. And now... And now it's paying off. Because effectively I need to use much more dynamic brakes than I probably should for this train. Jessica team, nothing happened, we are perfectly fine, the train is still on tracks. Uh, we we just ran onto into some downhill section. So I need to use some dynamic brakes. But as you can see, we are doing perfectly fine. Okay, there we go. We are still... Okay, yeah, it, it is pretty balanced. Is it? Yeah, I, I think it's pretty balanced. Right, let me check how far we are from... Ah, yes, the next red signal and we will be at Mojave Yard. Which is perfect because that's gonna be the end of our journey, almost. I will still need to request... Uh, what is that? Track priority and bring this train onto the siding. But it's not long now, chat. Uh, I predict half an hour at most, and, and and we will be done. Our first major delivery will be completed. And if I'm correct, this is defect detector. Oh, maybe not. I wasn't correct. Not the first, not the last time, I guess. Okay, we can drop down a little bit on on dynamic brakes. And now we need to start observing the signals because we will have to stop this bad boy. It is still green.
There we go. Okay, we got down... Well, we got uh, 21 miles on a downhill section. That's that's pretty alright. And the speed limit here is 25 miles an hour. So... It's actually really good that, that we are not going too fast. Oh, and that is defect detector, so we might find out if everything is alright. There we go. Okay. That was railroad crossing. Oh, in fact, I'm slowing down a little bit too much. We are still going downhill. Perfect. No defects. go yes uh, UP in that stands for Union Pacific uh, because in in this area where I'm currently driving this train there are two rail networks operating which is BNSF and UP, which is Union Pacific. And both of them have their own detectors in different places. Okay, I, I am going a little bit over the speed limit at the moment. But that should soon change. And let me just check one thing. Yeah, I was supposed to finish here. So the light in front of me is supposed to be red. I don't know why Otto decided to...
to route me through here. Okay, so that's why... That's why I had green lights, even though I should have red light in front of me. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, there we go. Okay, the brakes are released. Perfect. Okay, we are still slowing down. Okay, that's good. Now, I believe I will be able to restart Otto for this section. So it will be routing trains again. Except me. <laughs> Is it? I, I don't know. Like. Yes, the stream was going for a while, but we are approaching the end of it. Very soon we will be at Mojave Yard, which is just there, and I can see Otto just messed up again. Yeah, he rooted me, and he is not supposed to root me. Okay, I will need to stop this train in front of that semaphore. Request track authority. Set the switches manually. And then enter the yard. go okay the pressure in in all the locomotives is released perfect I can turn off the bell go that's harsh breaking oh my goodness me
Okay, dynamic brake goes off. Let's make sure it's off. Come on, come on. Okay, we are now at Mojave Yard, although I need to do one thing first. Is it working? Now it should. There we go. Ooh. Why is it that uh, uh, Otto didn't contact with me? Yeah, we are at channel 14. Oh yeah, because I turn, turned them off. Okay. Okay, I can now cancel my routing and then I can do Okay, now I got track authority and I will be able to go onto the yard. But first, I need to throw some switches. Luigi Rota, yes, we are at our destination. Although this one is equipped with manual switches. So I need to throw them myself. Okay, now there's the question. Do I have a free truck? I do. I do, and it's this one. Perfect. Okay, and now what I need to do, I need to give myself permission manually. So, I need the signal. To be yellow. And it's red. It is still red. Oh yeah, because it's the next signal. Oh my goodness gracious. So that should be this one. Is it? Hmm. That's weird, chat. It is not changing. Oh well. Anyway, we got track authority, so nobody will be routed over this section. And we should be able to enter Mojave Yard. So we will pass that red signal. Because there is no other way we can change this signal manually, as dispatcher menu doesn't allow us to do so. And official entry to Mojave Yard is on the other side. 
So I'm not sure, technically I should go past it and, and reverse man, maybe? I, I don't know how it works. Why don't I go through? I am actually going through the signal. It won't end this scenario. I'm not sure if there is any any other way to request uh, track authority. Although I, I do have track authority over this area anyway. Because that was requested from the dispatcher. Okay, but... You know what? That is a little bit too fast. My goodness me. I forgot we are on downhill section. And I need to watch out on, on my brakes. <laughs> Definitely it's one of the hardest yards to, to get into when you are heading from Bakersfield. There we go. Okay, now our speed is pretty alright. there chat almost there Okay, 250 feet, and we are all the way in. Okay, now entire train is in that siding. Belgiet! Woohoo! No another runaway train, please. Yes, there won't be any more. There won't be any more because we have reached our final destination for today. So let me just apply the brakes. go we can drop it down to idle the train will soon stop Most. Oh, 
almost and there we go the train is now fully stopped so let's make sure to secure it we will apply full brakes Okay, perfect. Now we can set the throttle to idle or to neutral. And we can also fix all the junctions that we set so that Otto can start routing trains. And that should be the first thing we will do here. Uh, let me just turn him back on. Just a moment. Okay, as you can see chat, entire train is on that siding, which is perfect. Now what I will need to do is to disconnect the locomotives, park them somewhere. And then I will have to service uh, the industry for which I brought this consist. Although I think uh, on the sidings of, of that industry we might have some old wagons that we first need to remove. But we will think about it in the next episode. For now this train is isolated, perfect. Uh, what I will also need to do is... That one, okay, lights are off. Perfect. In fact, we can leave the engines on. We will have to... get this train apart, definitely. And I will need to figure out something for, for this one. Yeah, I, I will definitely have to send it somewhere, isn't it? Okay, I can just clip through. There we go. In fact, what am I doing? There we go. Let's let's have a nice flight over. So there we go, chat. We have now reached our final destination. And we have also reached the end of that stream. I hope you enjoyed it. Did you? Chat, did you enjoy it? Perfect. 100%. Fantastic. Right, chat. Uh, in the future episodes, I will definitely try to, as I mentioned before, split this train. Uh, service the industry for which I brought these wagons and perhaps return to Bakersfield with empty wagons and who knows I, I might even grab uh, some extra cargo from here and there so yeah definitely uh, I will plan that in the future and next time we will be playing run 8 uh, I will be trying to service industry. So it, we will have some switching. We will have some mainline action. But in most cases, this is going to be something simpler than, than today's episode. I definitely need to practice uh, 
going downhill because as you could see I couldn't keep this train under control even though it's not the longest consist you can build or, or something like this train is isn't really that long in in the game standards uh, it, it could be much much longer it could be like 6,000 feet or 8,000 feet and, and that's a long train that that's over a mile effectively and if I couldn't keep control over like what 2500 uh, feet train and uh, then keeping control over over longer one oh my goodness me that would be a disaster uh, so definitely i need to work on that uh, but as you can see uh, that's the run eight for you uh, that was really long journey and to put it into perspective that was pretty much half of one scenery that that i went through today uh, and it took me five and a half hours. Well, uh, okay, uh, l let's let's make it more realistic. Three and a half hours, uh, because first hour, hour and a half, uh, maybe up to two, I, I pretty much spent to to make sure that this train will be safe to go. Uh, so I've been standing on the siding, but you can see how long this route can be. And, and it's much, much longer chat, and, and we will try and discover as much of it as we can. Uh, so thank you very much for watching me today. Uh, if you liked this video, uh, don't forget to press that thumbs up button. Uh, obviously, if you are watching me on Twitch, uh, don't forget to follow me. Uh, and for people on YouTube, uh, yeah, uh, feel free to subscribe. And uh, if you feel like... This channel deserves some extra support. Uh, perhaps con uh, you can consider to become a crew member. Like, uh, who was it? Uh, 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 I, I need to start taking notes, isn't it? Uh, Rody12. Yes, uh, Rody12 is one of my crew members. Uh, same as Raliev, Jessica Team, and and many more. So you can join them and get some cool benefits and emotes that you can use on the chat and I believe in the comments under my videos. Uh, so yeah, uh, feel free to do so. Uh, you can check the offer under the player on YouTube. Yes, I, I believe that's where the join button will appear. Right, see you next time. Bye-bye.